Oh, hi everybody! This is Mrs Bell here. So, we're in, uh, coming up to the end of week four of our lockdown. I hope you've been staying home, staying safe and taking care of each other. I'm going to share a story with you from one of my favourite storybooks. Um, it's called Stories from Around the World. And the story is called Nail Soup. It's one of my favourite genres. Um, when you've listened to the story, you can uh, get in touch with me to let me know what genre the story is by posting a comment. Hope you like it. Nail Soup. Long ago, a cold, tired and hungry man trudged down a dusty country road. He shivered as the wind blew through the tatters in his coat. Pushing his hands deep into his pocket, he carefully searched them for a coin, but all he found was a big, rusty nail. When he reached a village, he knocked on the door of the first house that he came to, but no one answered. He knocked again, louder this time. At last, he heard the sound of a key in the lock and some bolts being drawn back. The door opened a few inches and a mean old woman peered out. Good evening, madam, said the man. I wonder if you could spare a cold, hungry man a bite to eat. The old woman opened the door a little wider. I've no food in the house, she croaked, but you can come in for a few minutes and warm yourself. Soon, the man was sitting by a roaring fire with the old woman sitting opposite him. She said nothing. After a while, the man took the big rusty nail from his pocket, wiped it on his sleeve and tossed it from hand to hand. When he was sure the old woman was watching, he said, Yesterday, I had the best soup I've ever eaten made with just this old nail. What a load of nonsense. You can't make soup with a nail, cackled the old woman. If you had such a thing as a big pot of water, I could prove it to you, answered the man. Grumbling, the old woman fetched a big pot and put it on the stove. When the water was boiling, the man dropped in the nail. After waiting ten minutes, he picked up the spoon and tasted the water. Delicious, he said, but I think it could do with just a little pepper and salt if you had them. When the old woman opened a cupboard for them, the man could see the shelves were stacked with food. He shook the pepper and the salt into the pot and tasted the water again. Mmm, he said. I think you could do with just an onion and then it'll be perfect. The old woman hurried away, peeled and chopped a big onion and dropped it into the pot. The man stirred the boiling water and tasted it again. Mmm, he said thoughtfully. But maybe it needs a carrot or two and a little meat if you have it. The old woman hurried away again and came back with carrots and a piece of meat. The man stirred them into the pot. Of course, potatoes go very well in this soup, he said. And the woman brought the potatoes, peeled and cut them into chunks. The man dropped them in and sat down by the fire. Not long now, he said. Doesn't it smell good? After half an hour, he tasted the soup again and said, That's perfect. Now, I hope, madam, you will join me in eating this soup. Almost smiling, the old woman laid the table with a cloth and her best china. The man poured the soup into two big bowls and sat down at the table with the old woman. He dipped his spoon into the soup and then stopped. You've been so kind. I wish I had some wine for you to drink with the soup, he said. I think of a bottle somewhere, said the old woman, and soon came back with wine and two glasses. While the man and the old woman ate the soup and drank the wine, they talked and talked. The old woman brought out a crusty loaf of bread, cheese, fruit and a big cake. They told each other stories, laughed a lot and had a merry evening. The old woman couldn't remember when she had enjoyed herself so much. When they'd eaten all they could and were growing sleepy, the old, woman, the old woman said, It's getting late. I'll make up the bed in the spare room for you. You'll be warm and comfortable in there. The man thanked her, and when she was out of the room, he scooped the nail from the bottom of the soup pot, wiped it and dropped it into his pocket. Next morning, the man thanked the old woman again. I'd never have believed you could make such good soup with just an old nail, she said. Yeah, right. The man smiled and murmured, it's what you add to it that makes all the difference. And he patted his pocket to make sure the nail was there. I may need that again tonight, he said quietly to himself as he walked away down the road.